Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is the big day. Team of the season is finally here. Today begins the six or seven week journey of Team of the Season every single week in FIFA 22. It's going to be an exciting month and a half. And today it all begins with Community Team of the Season and Eredivisie Team of the Season squads dropping in the game today. I want to talk about that and also the leaks that we still have some more new leaks about what cards are going to be dropping. There's so many TOTS cards that are going to be introduced into FIFA today. It's going to be crazy. I want to talk about all of that and some pretty big changes to foot champs, right? We knew there was going to be brand new foot champions rewards, but what EA also did was they extended the team of the season foot champs, uh, basically throughout team of the season foot champs is going to start and end at a different time frame and it actually gives us extra time to play, but it just starts a little bit later. So I'm going to talk about that and how the foot champions rewards are very, very underwhelming and people are not very excited about that. And I also have to talk a lot about the market today because a lot of people have saved up packs just like I do on my account. Now, I'm not going to open many of these today, just a few, but there's a lot of people that are going to open saved up packs today with the combination of that and lightning rounds. The supply on the market and the coins that will be injected onto the market as well will create cr tremendous opportunities to trade and probably a lot of opportunities for other cards on this game to go up in price later after the content drops. So, it's team of the season though, right? That's the biggest thing for today. It's so exciting to start team of the season. So if you're excited, hit the thumbs up on the video and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's take a quick look again at some of the TOTS cards that we are expecting to see in the promo today. Of course, on the loading screen that we just saw, Suarez, Laporte, and Carrasco are on that loading screen. But again, Suarez, Fred, Laporte, um, as I mentioned, those are all big, exciting players that are being dropped today. Probably the number one most hyped card being released today is this Gravenberch from Eredivisie Team of the Season. With the stats that this card has, he is going to be one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive card that is out in the game today. That card looks un believable so there's tons of leaks like the ea even added some more leaks and we got some tweets about that uh in the past like day john mcginn is going to be in community team of the season cocker ray is going to get himself a card instead of team of the season yuris is getting an item livramento raspadori is getting an svc at some point and mitchell uh is getting a card as well a couple as as with um a couple more of the Eredivisie leaks as well. There's so many TOTS cards that are dropping in the game today. Seriously, there's like, I almost think there's going to be like 30 cards. Not even kidding. Like 25 to 30 cards will be dropped in the game today um, in packs between the two squads. And again, since EA has changed the way they're doing uh, foot champions rewards and foot champions itself the finals right as you can see here event starts in 17 hours from when i'm recording this usually you guys wake up on friday and you start playing foot champs right well that's changed because ea has now included and a lot of you guys have seen this in the game they're including team of the season items in rewards a lot of people are not happy with this re these rewards but since those TOTS cards are in rewards, and especially as rank four and above, they're going to be released as tradable packs, right? Just like a team of the week pack, you're going to get three players from Community or Eredivisie tradable if you get rank four or above. And those cards obviously have to be released onto the game before they can release that pack. So Foot Champions is now going to start whatever time frame you're in, whatever time zone you're in. Foot Champs is going to start two hours after the content drops. So 8 p.m. UK. 3 p.m. for me, and the good thing about it is, yes, it's starting a bit later, but we now have until Tuesday morning UK time to finish Foot Champions. So you basically have like an extra day to finish your Foot Champions finals games, which is nice um, that they did increase that. But of course, what everybody is not excited about is the grind you're going to have to put in to get this TOTS pack, right? Everybody was hoping to see the TOTS pack. Um, you know, attainable for probably like the 11 win threshold, but it's only available at the 14 win threshold. And even guys that are getting rank one and rank two are only still getting one community tots three players pack, which is a big bummer in my opinion. So a lot of people are going to be shooting for 14 wins this weekend, but again, we do have a little bit more time for that uh, since they increased the time that we have to play and extended 
the weekend league, but also people are demotivated to play weekend league at the same time because if you're used to getting uh, scraping by getting nine or 11 wins, you're not going to get a tradable tots pack and nine wins only gets you one player pick, which is definitely a bummer and people are not very happy with these rewards from ea sports but it's probably the way that it's going to have to be throughout the entirety of team of the season it's just very very unfortunate that ea had given us so great rewards all year long and decided that right now at this stage of the game since they're putting out tots cards that they have to pull those rewards back and not make them as good it is it is a big bummer in my opinion i think it's it's, it's terrible, honestly, from EA Sports. It just does not motivate you to grind the game, and that's what those rewards should do, especially this late in the year. It's, it's basically May, right? We're in the latter stages, the last quarter of this game almost. So EA, why not just let us have good rewards like you've given us all year? That's the big disappointment with the game currently at the moment. So that's the big changes with foot champions. Now let's talk about market, right? Because how are all these team of the season cards coming out on this game today going to impact the market? We do not have a team of the season item here yet added, but the item has been added to the code. The card design is in the first thing we have to note about team of the season. This might blow your mind, but let's take a look at this. This is a throwback to last year of day one of community tots. Take a look at the pack weight from a 100,000 coin pack last year, a jumbo rare players pack, team of the season players, 18%. Now, of course, that does include the main league and the secondary league. Since there's so many cards in packs, that percentage is going to be really high. But team of the season cards are always so packable and they're always so supplied, especially for this day one of the first weekend of team of the season. I would expect that the pack weight for TOTS cards today is almost going to be this high or maybe even higher. They're going to be so supplied and so packed. Um, and, you know, they're just going to be all over the market today. They're probably like we saw with, if you guys remember, team one of foot captains because we had a week off of the, uh, before that promo without a promo a lot of people had saved packs and they opened and these foot captains cards were incredibly cheap in the first hour or two uh, when these cards dropped on the game i think there is very very high potential for that to happen today with some of these team of the season cards now with the most expensive ones like Gravenberch and suarez maybe not so much but some of these other items that are on the lower tier especially that are still going to be usable but they might be a bit cheaper maybe a card like timber that is very hype very popular with all of the crazy ix and air divisi cards that are being dropped today you'd want to keep an eye on him kochu zaha todibo as a french center back uh, would be all options that you would want to keep your eyes on today. Gakpo, Wijnal. I mean, there's so many great cards that are going to be released today during Team of the Season. You're going to want to keep a, a close eye on prices in that first hour, especially with all the pack weight and the saved up packs that we will be having today on the game. Now, speaking for the rest of the market, right? How do I expect a lot of this stuff to go? Well, as we've been preparing like this whole entire week, I have been buying and you guys have been buying with me a lot of these out of pack special cards Wow, Ben Yedder just sold for 950. Are you serious? That's crazy. I bought this card for 820,000 coins. You're starting to see this market already start to go up, right? We've been noticing that. I've gotten some sales tonight of cards that I bought, and they're up over 100,000 coins a piece, like this Ben Yedder. But you're going to continue to see that market really rebound today. And I think you might be like, Nate, just because the weekend league is delayed, does that mean that there's going to be less of a market rise today? I don't think so. Today is just such a flip of the switch day for so many people on this game. So many people are going to come back to FIFA today that have not been on FIFA for months just because they know that team of the season is usually a really, really fun time on the game. And that's going to make people open packs. They're going to get coins from opening those packs and you're going to see the market rebound very significantly because of that. So that's what I would expect for a lot of these out of pack special cards that we have seen drop in price for weeks upon weeks now. And if you have invested today, should be a day where you should see some some payouts right you should see some of these cards get really rare um, late into the night tonight and friday and have really nice jumps in price and that will create tremendous opportunities to be trading with items today to be making coins and across the entire market as a whole uh, it should be a really, really active day on FIFA because there's going to be so much hype with so many people on the game. And I think that's, again, with all the packs that are being opened, that brings coins onto the market. And that means a lot of stuff is going to go up. Stuff that is out of packs and no longer being packed. Now, stuff that is in packs today, I'm, I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I know that this fodder is incredibly cheap. Harry Kane 
as a hell what's his rating uh a 90 rated right a 90 rated harry kane is like 33,000 coins, 34,000 coins. That is incredibly, incredibly cheap for a high rated fodder. And I know that all this stuff is really, really cheap. But again, like we've been talking about as well, with all the supply that is going to come out today, I really anticipate this higher rated fodder still going lower. What I would recommend is if you want to buy any of this stuff, if you think that, hey, you know, people are going to get coins today, so that means they're going to go out and do SBCs which is also very possible. There's so many icon moments, player SBCs that are out right now. Um, there's probably going to be another icon sort of, we have a prime player pick that is out for a couple more days, but once this expires, we might have another sort of icon moments upgrade pack that would be more expensive. We're going to have team of and player SBCs. There's going to be so many things out in the game. Uh, people are going to go do SBCs as well. So if you're looking to invest in SBC fodder, I think this weekend could be a great time to do that. Uh, but I really want to wait and see all the packs open today on Friday. Maybe you get on some bids after the first, second, or third hour of the lightning rounds and of people opening their packs. What I would recommend doing is watching these prices drop. First of all, um, if you see 88 rated, it's like under 20,000 coins like that. That's crazy, right? That almost would be the cheapest that they have been. When was Tony Cruz last 20K? January, right? He has, he's been 40K in March. Now he's back down to like 20,000 coins, which is wild, right? So I would watch these cards today. I think there is potential for them to rebound later on in the next week. If the content is really, really good, specifically watch these lower tier cards again, because they did really well last week. And a lot of the SBCs that EA will probably release in the next week or two, um, you know, a guaranteed TOTS pack, right? We we saw some pack code that was added last night, a guaranteed Eredivisie team of the season pack and a guaranteed community TOTS pack. Those would both be SBCs we would expect to see most likely not today on Friday. Those are more like next week type things. So if you want to do a bit of a fodder club stock, if you see prices get demolished today with supply, which I think is very, very possible, make sure you stock up on a few of those. And I think that that should be a really, really good idea this weekend in general is stocking up on some of that fodder. I get, I would say try to get on some bids or try to get some snipes to get those cards just a few thousand coins cheaper um, than before, you know, even at their buy it now price on the market. If you get a few thousand coin undercut stuff like that, that's going to be helpful for some of these higher tier cards. And even for the lower tier ones on bid, that could help you get some better prices. So absolutely be watching out for those cards. Now, also we have a lot of these um, brand new upgrades that EA finally released after the delayed content and everything yesterday for these fantasy foot cards. I think these cards, you know, if you're like, Nate, what should I watch for today? Dropping into the content time, right? There's a lot of buildup into team of the season. Do I think you're going to see market uh, prices dropping today, heading into the 6 p.m. time frame? I wouldn't expect it too much. Um, by the way, EA Sports gave Martinelli an accidental additional upgrade. He should only be 92 rated, but he's 93. So GG's EA, that's a mistake that actually ends up being in our favor because I imagine they're not going to fix it and they're just going to leave him uh, at this rating on the, on the game, which is great. So we now have a 93 Martinelli instead of a 92. Anyways, um, yeah, man, I just think that a lot of these cards are going to rebound still today because yes, as we've talked about, the team of the season is very, very exciting. But when you look through a lot of these cards, I mean, some of them just don't get you that excited, right? You look at the Connor Cody. I mean, the Todibo for me is cool, but it's not that insane. The Zaha for me is also cool, but not that insane. I feel like there's only a handful of cards in here today that are just super, super exciting and get everybody excited to want to go and try them out. Graven Birch, Timber being some of those. Laporte is really solid. Carrasco is pretty good. So yes, there are a lot of great cards coming out today. Uh, so if you see um, some panic selling earlier in the day, since not every single card that is dropping today is really, really insane. Again, I'm going to be watching out of pack special cards as we head into the um, content release time frame, because I think, like I said, you know, Fakir is already up, Firmino is up, Dybala, Paqueta, these guys are already going up in price. I think they're going to take a really significant bounce back up in price today. Watch Suarez's foot birthday card, because I would imagine that the Suarez that is dropped today is probably not going to have five star skills. That's also a big piece of the hype today. How many skills and weak foot upgrades are we going to see? 
on these tots cards, right? That's all the stuff that we're going to be breaking down. Of course, if you do want to check it out at the content drop, I will be live streaming on Twitch. That link down is down below in the description. We're going to be taking a look at everything related to the content that is dropped today. Now, also, I want to try to find the objectives and SBCs that we might be getting. The first leak that we had was this Parejo. He might be our objective today. We might also have multiple objectives. Uh, that is something that we could also see, but there's no real clear leaks on what that's going to be. But content-wise, along with everything in packs, I would imagine that EA Sports would drop us a player SBC um, and an objective. So the Parejo potentially being our objective. Uh, maybe they'll throw in some Eredivisie objective. Uh, or SBC in there as well. So just kind of keep a watch for that. And also last call for any of these packs for Tots warm up series. Um, again, if you guys are going to open packs today, here, here, here's where I'm probably going to go with this. Yes, Tots cards are going to be out. I might open a few of my packs today, probably just the eFigs packs, if I'm being honest. And if you don't know what eFigs is, it's the packs that have been released recently through SBCs that just give you cards from the top five leagues. Because Community Tots is made up of cards from all the top five leagues, I know there's Air Divisi out as well today. Um, but I think, you know, stacking up a couple of the 80 plus times two if you want to do that. But all of like the 85 times five that I've done uh, or the 83 times five, I'm going to try to find those in my pack stash. And potentially open some of those today. You could save those for um, ultimate team of the season, but that's just a really, really long time to hold. So it's up to you whether you're going to open packs today or whether you're not going to open packs. I'm probably just going to open these e figs ones um, because I think, as a really noisy car drives by, that's nice. Um, I think that I'm going to open those today because I don't want to hold those off for, you know, ultimate team of the season that's going to be like over a month away from now. Uh, so I'm going to try to rip some of those, but I'm going to have to open up some of my like 75 plus rated rare players packs before I even get to those. And those might be so far back. So I don't know how it's going to work. I'm going to open some of my packs today though, and try to get that team of the season count going once again. So it's just going to be a crazy day on FIFA. There's just so much that is going to be going on. There's a lot of hype with the brand new cards. Hopefully EA drops some banger content as well. Oh, last thing I forgot to mention as a part of the pack code that was added, I don't know if you guys remember seeing this earlier a couple days ago, we're all going to be getting a free 85 plus times two that was leaked um, an 85 plus times two pack. We all should be given out one of those this uh, today, I believe. They would start off a promo Friday with that. So just keep an eye out for that. That's something that we'll be seeing today. And they also added a few of these packs. And if you guys wondered what in the world's going on with these, the first touch pack, the kickoff pack, and the jumpstart pack, it was actually tweeted out by EA on their official Twitter account that FIFA 22 is going to be free for everybody to play starting on May 3rd. So that PS pack, right? The 82 plus times 11 that everybody was knowing as a PlayStation Plus pack that we have not seen yet, uh, of course, for just the PlayStation users on this game. Um, that stuff is probably going to be dropping on May 3rd. So it's not today. It's going to be a bit later on into next week um, during Community and Air Divisi Tots, of course. But if you saw these pack codes that were added, I think that these also uh, pertain to the fact that FIFA is going to be free to play uh, for for the next month. So that's very interesting there. It's probably going to also incorporate a lot of newer users on FIFA 22 and, and in Ultimate Team since the game will be free on the PlayStation side of things. So that will be interesting in the next week or so as well. But currently on my account, I'm trying to get some of these sales and I'm kind of glad that Ben Yedder, Abedi, and Pedri have all sold in the past few hours because I'm trying to raise some coins because I want to be able to trade with some Tots cards today because I think they're going to be so great they're going to be so fun to try out, and uh, a lot of people are going to want to use them. So we're going to be watching a lot of this stuff on the market, as always, because I do think there's great potential for some big-time rebounds in price. But I also want to be very, very active in trading with the brand-new Team of the Season cards that get dropped on the game today. It's going to be a fantastic day on FIFA 22, lads. So I'm super excited for it. Again, we'll be live streaming it all on Twitch. That link is down below in the description. Good luck if you're opening packs today. I hope you pack some blues. That's what this time period of the year is. That's what it's all about. That's one of the most fun things we have is just packing 
blues upon blues every single week with more team of season cards that do come out. So if you enjoyed the video today, hit the thumbs up on it. Again, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe. If you are new, happy team of the season. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.